Hello friends, today we will learn the CLFJ02 equipment. This equipment is mainly composed of flowing aspects. The first aspect is control part. The control part is the Siemens PLC S71214C. It's for the trainer programming. There is a button module on the device. The button module is installed with four buttons. Star, Stop, Reset, Emergency Stop. These four buttons are mainly used to stop, reset, star, and emergency stop the operation of the equipment. This equipment also is stored with DC motor. Its function is mainly to transport the material block. There is also an encoder outside the DC motor. The function of the encoder is mainly to record the current position, real-time feedback location to sort it into storage. There are also five single axis cylinder on this equipment. This is the first cylinder. Its function is to supply material to push to the cylinder. It's to push the material onto the belt and then sort and transport it. The main function of second cylinder to the fifth cylinder is to sort the blocks. The main function is sorting blocks. There are three more sensors on the device. They are capacitance, inductance, and color sorting. It's mainly for these three different color blocks because the blocks are silver, black, and red. Perform real-time sorting inspection. Then put them in storage. Let's show the equipment below. First of all, this device is equipped with a socket. There is an air compressor and workbench. The cylinder adopts European standard plug. After power on, turn the switch to the power supply mode. The switch button of the PLC is turned on. Wait for the PLC to start. First, the throttle value should be turned on. Put the renal part perpendicular to the hose. Then there is an air pressure displayed at that position. Lift up this block part throttle value and turn it left. Air pressure can be adjusted. After adjustment, Put the blue value in the extended state. Let's show the equipment below. First put the material block into the barrel. The device is currently in a reset state. The reset light keeps flashing. Flashing once every half seconds. First press the emergency stop button. All lights are off. Turn the emergency stop button. The reset button is flashing for half seconds. Now press the reset button. Then the stop button start to flash. Press the stop button. The equipment starts running. Check the material at its location.
It can be seen that the blocks of each color were sent to the warehouse first, warehouse two, and warehouse three. How does it sort? It's through these three sensors. How does the sensor detect it? Now you need to put the equipment in emergency stop state firstly. For example, let's demonstrate the this mantle block. After passing here, through this sensor is a light state. The light means that the material block is detected. Same this one. The sensor is turned out after removing the material block. How to adjust the sensor? First put the material block here. If the sensor is installed too high, then this sensor will not be able to detect. How to solve the problem of not detecting the material block? We need to lower the sensor a little bit until detected. If detected, just tighten this core. Try again. Now that's it. The sensor behind is also adjusted in the same way, same location. Put it in the lighted position. Also tighten the scores. If the material block is placed in a suitable position but the light does not turn on, what is the reason? There is a scroll in this position. This distance of a sensor can be detected here. Twist a little. Now it's in the state that no material block is detected. You need to increase the detection range. It's okay now.